In this video, we will see how to add two mixed fractions with like denominators, how to add a mixed fraction and a proper fraction, and how to add a whole number to a mixed fraction. Mixed fraction addition can be solved using two different methods. In method one, first add the whole numbers of both the fractions, that is two plus one equal three. Denominator of the two fractions is same, so keep the denominator seven as is. Now add the numerators of the two fractions, that is four plus two equals six. We get the answer three and six sevenths. In method two, first convert the mixed fractions to improper fractions. Two and four sevenths will become 18 by seven and one and two sevenths will become nine by seven. Now, add the fractions by adding numerators 18 and nine since the denominators are the same. We get 27 by seven. Since 27 by seven is an improper fraction, reduce it to get the answer, three and six sevenths. In method one of this example, first we will add the whole numbers one and two to get three. Keep the common denominator of the two fractions five as is. Add the numerators four and one to get five. Fraction five by five can be reduced to one. Add whole number three and one to get the answer four. In method two, first convert the mixed fractions to improper fractions. One and four fifths will become nine by five and two and one fifths will become 11 by five. Add the numerators nine and 11 to get 20 and keep the denominator five as is. Since 20 by five is an improper fraction, reduce it to get the answer four. Let's look at another example. In method one, add whole numbers one and four to get five. Add the numerators three and one to get four and write the common denominator eight. Fraction four by eight can be reduced to one by two. We get the answer five and one half. In method two, first convert the mixed fractions to improper fractions. Change one and three eighths to 11 by eight and four and one eighths to 33 by eight. Add the numerators 11 and 33 to get 44 and keep the denominator as eight. Since 44 by eight is an improper fraction, reduce it to get five and four eighths. Fraction four by eight can be reduced to one by two. We get the answer five and one half. In this example, note that we are adding one whole, two ninths and five ninths. We get one whole and seven ninths. We write the whole number one common denominator nine and add the numerators two and five to get seven. We get the answer one and seven ninths. In method two, first convert the mixed fraction to improper fraction. We rewrite one and two ninths as 11 by nine and add five by nine to it. Add numerators 11 and five to get 16 and write denominator as nine. Since 16 by nine is an improper fraction, simplify it to get one and seven ninths. Let's look at another example. Write the whole number one common denominator five and add the numerators two and four to get six. Since six by five is an improper fraction, simplify it to get one and one fifths. Add one and one fifths to one to get the answer, two and one fifths. In method two, convert mixed fraction, one and two fifths to improper fraction seven by five and add four by five to it. Add numerators, seven and four to get 11, and write denominator as five. Since 11 by five is an improper fraction, simplify it to get two and one fifths. In method one of this example, write the whole number one common denominator nine and add the numerators one and seven to get the answer one and eight ninths. In method two, write one by nine as is, convert mixed fraction one and seven ninths to 16 by nine. Add numerators one and 16 to get 17 and write denominator as nine. Since 17 by nine is an improper fraction, simplify it to get one and eight ninths.
In method one, write the whole number, three, common denominator five, and add the numerators four and two to get six. Since six by five is an improper fraction, simplify it to get one and one-fifths. Add one and one-fifths, two, three to get the answer, four and one-fifths. In method two, convert mixed fraction three and two-fifths to improper fraction 17 by 5 and add it to fraction 4 by 5.